At a time where golf clubs have never been more expensive, in my golf bag I have clubs from TaylorMade, I have clubs from Callaway, I have clubs from Mizuno. There was one club in here which I think stands out from the rest, not only because of how it works and just how well it performs, but for how much it costs. Guys, I got a full set of these 11 hybrids the other day and I'm astounded as to how good they feel, how good they perform and how good they look for your bank balance. You can get hold of one of these hybrids for just £75. Now, yes, you can go for a full set of the irons. That might be a little bit much for some people, but when testing these, I actually tested the three hybrid quite extensively and you would be amazed to see just how well this performs. So much so, guys, I'm gonna throw a couple of the shots I hit on screen when testing these, and that's the whole reason for this single review. <laughs> yes, please, look at that. That's gonna be long. And that's another one, just an easy draw straight down the middle of that fairway. Oh yeah, be the club, come on. Great shot. That one. How good is that? Big high fade towards that flag. Like that. That's a great shot. Just so as you saw there, some absolutely glorious ball flights. This is the 11 hybrid, it's 18 degrees. It's actually got my little kind of logo on the corner there as well. Guys, I'm giving away this full set, so make sure you do hit that subscribe button, throw a like on this video, comment below 11, and go and check out the original video because that's where one of the draws is as well. So you get a double chance of winning. The big thing about these is the KBS shafts that you do get in here. For me, for 75 pound, the shaft is almost worth that by itself. Throw on a nice looking hybrid head on here, and for me, you are absolutely winning at life. So guys, while you're in the comments, just let me know how important is budget for you at the minute? I know everyone has their own budgets in mind. Would you go for this instead of a tailor-made, a Titleist, a Ping, a Mizuno? And would a ball flight like that help you make up your mind? For me, one thing that I always see when I test cheap golf clubs, nasty golf clubs, golf clubs, which are cheap instead of budget or value for me a golf club that's good value also has to perform not just be cheap you start to see clubs that balloon up in the air you start to see clubs with no versatility and you start to see clubs that just don't really do what you want them to do so guys we're going to test this out here on the golf course a little bit more in depth i've also jumped on the golf sun simulator just to test this as well and just see exactly what ball speed we can get how far can i hit it what dispersion am i going to get with this club i've got it in a regular shaft here but it is the KBS 70, that was off a tee, this one's off the floor, and straight away there, that ball flight's not moving in the air, I've had gorgeous turf interaction there, there's hardly any offset on here, and as you can see, if you do get this out of the middle of the face, you really do start to see some fantastic results. I want to test it for forgiveness as well today though, because if you are buying a golf club for £75, you might not be as serious a golfer as someone who wants to go and buy one for £400, but you also might be a golfer who thinks, you know what, I'm actually quite good. I am a serious golfer, but I'm not spending all that money. I'm not getting caught up in the rat race of having the best head covers in the game for 2023. Let's hit one more off here, then we'll jump on to the fairway and hit some into this par five. I honestly think, guys, it's not just because it's good value. For me, this could well be one of the best looking golf clubs of the year, all for £75. Wow. Oh, yeah. The beauty about that one for me, it was a little bit more healy, but when we get down there in the fairway, I almost guarantee you with that ball flight that we'll still be up there with the one out the middle. So for that performance level and that price, what else is it to think of? So guys, as you can see, some interesting shots here. This was the first shot that I hit that was just curling a little bit left. And the other two for me, this has obviously got caught up in the rough, by the way. The other two are the ones that for me are really, really interesting. That was the really, really good one. And then we had a Healy one that was just cutting a little bit there. Exactly the same distance. So if you can get the same distance on bad strikes for that money, I mean, the... Uh, the head cover game isn't that strong, I'm not gonna lie, but you don't expect it to. Remember, this is a full set of irons, hybrids kind of thing. So let's hit some in from the rough, let's hit some in from the fairway to this par five. I'm actually filming with Chris today, and he said he can't believe how far that's gone. Yes, we are downwind, but this is a par five, and usually I would hit driver to about these trees. This is a 75 pound hybrid. Now a hybrid is only as good as it is out the rough for me. It might be a good club off the tee, it might be good off the fairway, but you also need to be able to hit it 
out of the rough here? Can I get it launching? Can I get it up in the air? Can I control the distance as well? That's a huge factor for me when testing this. Now, there isn't much technology online about these, but you can see a little bit of a kind of launch pad here for me. That looks like it's going to help the club glide through the turf a little bit, glide through this rough. I'm going to go for a big high draw, I think, try and get it over that bunker. We're a long way back. Oh, that's come out a little bit snaggy. It's drawing though. It's going to have a chance to chase up there. That's just caught that bunker, unfortunately. Probably more my swing than the hybrid there, but that would have been the same, the 300 pound tailor-made Titleist Pink Callaway Omazuno hybrid. At least I've saved some money. I can get some drinks at the bar. Okay, now we are in the fairway. I'm going to give myself a good lie here just so we can kind of go for these. And one thing I would probably do with the money that I would save with these clubs is maybe buy two of them, maybe get a three hybrid and a five hybrid. So there, when you're in the rough on a bit of a downslope, you have more loft, you have a shorter shaft, you have more options to be able to remain in control of this club. Then if you hit the fairway, you have the go, go, go club where you can go a bit gung-ho and really try and launch this towards the green. That's something which... I would think about more when you save yourself budget on something where does that budget go if it's going towards your electric bill your food bill your mortgage that's absolutely fair enough I think it's fantastic that these golf brands are making clubs that are affordable that perform pretty well and also look fantastic so people can still go and buy new clubs you can still have that euphoria of buying a new golf club you don't have to go and remortgage your house to get the latest $500 driver but if you do have a bit of a budget set aside for your golf and you do manage to save some on a golf club think right do I go and get a lesson do I treat myself to a green fee somewhere do I put it towards next year's membership so I can carry on playing and try and get my handicap down because that's ultimately why I play golf it might not be why you play golf you might be like me who just likes to play golf with your mates but think about that if you could save money what would you do with it let's see if we can hit this green right we're going for the big high draw again the wind's off the right I'll show you where these finish as well come on James oh yeah look at that he's on it be good go on I think that's going to be about 10 feet away unless it's run through I hope it hasn't but that's the exact ball fly that made me want to bring you guys this video when testing the entire set remember if you do want the giveaway make sure you go and check it out do you want to see me compare this against a tailor-made or a titleist or a Callaway or a ping get in the comments and let me know same shot again the wind didn't actually affect that ball flight as much as I thought it would. That's another massive tick in my box for a pretty budget golf club. Come on, turn in, keep going. Oh, that's took a good kick as well. I'll tell you what, that's front edge, I think. We're going to drive up there now, guys, see exactly where these have finished. But first of all, let's jump on the golf sun simulator to see how this three hybrid does perform because I think this might well put the cat amongst those pigeons. £75 for a hybrid with a KBS shaft in it. Yes, please. I've got this set at 220. I'm going to need everything of this. That wasn't a great strike to start with. It's a little bit left. That's in the trees, but how far are we going? That's carried 209. We'll not talk about where it's finished. I am struggling to square these club faces up with these regular shafts, but... 231 total. Come on, let's square it up. There we go. Look at that for a ball flight. That is a penetrating ball flight. It's going to be flag high again. Is it going to catch the green? Not this time. Guys, that's carried 220 yards for a club that's £75. That's ridiculous. If anything, even if you don't like the look of the full set of these irons, this could really be a club that puts the cat amongst the pigeons. Oh yeah, be the club, come on. Struck that better, we've got a lot more height to it. It might be a little bit less distance. Oh, 207 carry, just shy of the green. I'm actually really, really enjoying hitting this three hybrid. It's a club which for me, there's not as much offset on it. I feel like I can hit it just a little bit cleaner than the others. That's a terrible strike again. You know, you really do get away with these. I want to stay here until I absolutely rip one because I think I've got like a two... 30 carry in here with this again that's a bad strike it's carried 206 it's a tight green over there anyway it's been at 5000 that's so a loads of spin on it i suppose it was bottomy that one how good is that big high fade towards that flag probably down on distance again because i've cut across it ever so slightly 
207 again so if i just get it a little bit higher this thing actually goes further when you miss strike it which is a scary thought for a lot of people i know that's going to be a long that is going to be decent go on look at that i'm sold on the three hybrid alone guys let's get back out there and see exactly how we are getting on with these 11 hybrids right guys so we have the first shot here in the bunker that was out of the rough obviously it's landed in there so unfortunately it's not taken the kick that we did want but then we actually have two balls here as you can see just at the front of this green so very interesting shots here shots which i'm quite happy with to be honest in fact oh here we go they're both just short there so maybe i needed a three wood maybe i needed a five wood but again check out this dispersion i'm quite happy to have these shots on a par five where i can have a chip and a putt for birdie what do you think to those numbers as well guys i think they are fantastic numbers for the price this is absolutely key for me as to why you can go and save money on golf clubs you can still get clubs that do perform because you can still put yourself in position to make birdie or at worst case par with a chip from about 20 yards for eagle guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed that if you have smashed that subscribe button below let us know what you think to these 11 hybrids if you want a chance to win the entire set throw a like on this video subscribe to the channel and go and check out the video that i did last monday because that is a video that i think could massively determine what clubs you go for if you look for new ones this year apart from that i'll see you all at the same time tomorrow goodbye